Welcome to Tamish Max. Just two problems in this video. Problem number four, two subdivisions. So we go for this subdivision. Show cosecant A minus sin A into secant A minus cos A is 1 by tan A plus cot A. Consider cosecant A minus sin A into secant A minus cos A. What do you think we will do? I think you can guide me now. Cosecant A will be 1 by sin A minus sin A into cos A will be secant A will be, I am sorry, secant A will be 1 by cos A minus cos A. Take LCM. 1 minus sin square A by sin A. 1 minus cos square A by cos A. 1 minus sin square A will be cos square A. And 1 minus cos square A will be sin square A by sin A cos A. Fine. So, 1 sin A will get cancelled. 1 cos A will get cancelled. It is sin A cos A. Fine. Now, we have to show this is 1 by tan A plus cot A. How am I to show that? How are we going to show that? Okay. Now look here. Sin A cos A we have. Flexibility is very much required in working mathematics. Denominator could be written as cos square A plus sin square A is 1. Fine. Now this could be written as 1 by cos square A plus sin square A divided by cos A sin A. This is 1 by cos square A by cos A sin A. 1 cos will get cancelled, cos A by sin A. That will be cot A. Plus sin square A by cos A sin A. 1 sin will get cancelled, sin A by cot A which will be tan A. That is equal to 1 by tan A plus cot A. So we have got it. We have got it wonderfully well. You practice it and you make yourself a master in this. Just one more left out. Just one more left out. We will see how to go about that. Show 1 plus tan square A by 1 plus cot square A is equal to this. And this is equal to this. Now first we I will show this is equal to this. Then I will show this is equal to this which implies these two are equal. 1 plus tan square A by 1 plus cot square A. What is 1 plus tan square A? Secant square A. And what is 1 plus cot square A? Cosecant square A. This goes to the top, it will become sin square A. And this comes down, it will be cos square A, which will be equal to tan square A. Next, I have to show 1 minus tan A by 1 minus cot A whole square is also the same. This could be written as 1 minus cos A by sin A, sorry, sin A by cos A by, this could be written as 1 minus cos A by sin A whole square. Now this will be cos A minus sin A. Take LCM here. Cos A minus sin A by cos A whole square by whole square I will write it separately afterwards. Sin A minus cos A by sin A whole square. Okay. There is a whole square here. So this will be the numerator square by the denominator square. So this will be now cos A minus sin A by cos A whole square by sin A minus cos A by sin A whole square. This will be a one more step I will give you so that we can make it easier and uh, 
uh, better understanding we'll have. So this will be now cos a minus sin a whole square by cos square a and this will be sin a minus cos a whole square by sin square a. So that sin square a will go to the top by sin a minus cos a whole square. My dear viewers, a minus b whole square and b minus a whole square are same. So these two will get cancelled. Sin square a by cos square a, which will be tan square a. So we have got it. So this implies that these two are equal. Okay? Best wishes.